Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Aries, male or female watching, thank you for joining me. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node of Venus, or Cross Watcher, welcome. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you guys for all your beautiful comments, your gifts, your donations, your support, and purchasing my products thank you so much for those of you guys that support my small business thank you so much for that i love you guys thank you for your feedback on the crown chakra protection spray and thank you to my beautiful subscribers uh that reach out to me in my emails just to thank me for all the work i'm doing here for you guys on youtube for giving you guys the messages i really appreciate when you guys reach out to me it really touches my heart by the way Okay, so I am going to make a quick shout out to my beautiful supporters and Soul Tribe family members that reached out to me in my emails. From my beautiful subscriber Ryan and Fiola, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting the channel. May God bless you tenfold. I'm going to keep you guys in my prayers, okay? And all my other beautiful subscribers that watch me, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into this message. Okay, my love, so I'm feeling like you've been expressing yourself lately. Expression is here. Okay, you've been expressing yourself in different ways. And I also heard that your silence speaks volumes, my beautiful love. Okay, so you are choosing to remain silent. Um, you are choosing not to speak to a certain individual or speak to certain individuals. Um... Because you feel like every time you go back and forth with this person or these individuals to have a conversation, you feel like you get you you're like saying too much. You could be saying too much, or every time you talk to somebody, you say something and then you regret telling them this, and then they kind of get that information from you and then go ahead and use it against you later or try to sabotage you with whatever it is that you said. So be careful with your expression and who you're speaking to and what you're saying. Be careful what you're saying because your words are very powerful and your words are manifestations. They are um, basically your words are affirmations, okay, my love? So ancestors, there's a couple ancestor here, like an, like a couple. So this could have been like an aunt and uncle that passed away. This could have been a grandmother and a grandfather that passed away. This could have been anybody in your in your family that passed away. And then there's like a small child, a little girl. Okay, so there's like, there's these three ancestors here, and whoever you are, they're watching over you very closely, and I heard Josephine, I heard Josephine, that could be someone's ancestor's name, someone's name watching, I heard Carla, Carlita, Clarita, Catherine, I heard Zoe, Lillian, someone got the wrong idea here. Somebody really got the wrong idea or they got the wrong information about you. Aries, male or female. This person that have been wearing a false mask, all right, you could have you, you exposed this person and their mask fell off in front of you or they exposed themselves. Somebody also gave the wrong information about you on purpose so somebody else would, like, have the wrong perception of you and not support you or, you know not give you the job, maybe you were applying somewhere for a job and you really wanted this job, and somebody that you know, you could have told this person that you were applying at this job or you had an interview at this job, or I don't know. It's like something that you had going on, something that was coming in for you, you told the wrong person your your, your plans or your good news, and this person went behind the scenes to make a phone call to sabotage to get some bad information about you to an employer or to somebody that you wanted to work with or partner with, and this person then didn't give you the offer or they took back the offer or didn't come through and you were wondering why this didn't come through. You were sure you had this job. You were sure you were going to partner with this person. You were sure something was lined up. But somebody, you told the wrong person, all right? You told the wrong person your business and this person went ahead and sabotaged you. And every time you're about to uh, go somewhere or every time you have something planned or you're planning something or something's coming in for you, this person reaches out to you, and all of a sudden, this person is reaching out, or they're showing up at your house. Right before you get a major blessing, this person always shows up out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden, things don't take off. Things start to slow down. Every time this person comes around you, 
your your money gets your it's like your money slows down or you start to feel stagnant and things don't manifest the way you wanted them to or you get a phone call and things didn't go in your favor or bad news so you got to stop communicating with this one person and spirit's been um basically spirit's been warning you about speaking with this karmic female because it is a karmic female here because this karmic female pretends to be happy for you or pretends that, you know, she's innocent. She's just a victim of her own life and her own circumstances and her own tower moments. All she does is complain to you about her own problems or whatever this, this person does. But what they're really doing is they're like projecting that energy to you or mirroring that energy towards you that they're embodying. So that way things get blocked in your energy or in your life. All right, you have you have a lot of wisdom, whoever you are. Wisdom is here, ancient wisdom, knowledge, lived many past lives. The owl. So the owl could be significant. Somebody could have long, light brown hair, dark brown hair, long um, hair here, very beautiful hair, by the way. Somebody has beautiful hair, whether it's long or not. All right, you, you hold a lot of power in your hair. That's what I heard. So let me go ahead and give you the guys these messages that I have written down. And then I can continue to pull some energy here with the cards. So you came from West Indian tribes, okay? So this message is not going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with who it needs to resonate with. All right? I heard Ricky, Ricardo, Riley. I heard Vinny or Vince. Vincent, okay, so you came from West Indian tribes, African Orishas, so you have African Orishas and West Indian ancestors because you have past lives of being, you came from West Indian tribes or West Indian ancestors, African Orishas, they're connected to your ancestors and they're all, they all chose you to inherit the land, they all chose you to inherit their gifts, they all chose you, all these ancestors chose you to uh, take on their legacy. And that's why, you know, that's why there's a lot of jealousy amongst family members when it comes to you because you, you, you've been um, divinely selected or you've been, um, you've been cloaked with divine protection from all these ancestors. And somebody here knows this, okay, because they were looking into you. They went to a, a, some sort of like a seer. They went to somebody that that can see into your future or that can see into your past, past lives. And, or this person knows the power you hold, the power you embody, uh, that you've been chosen by all these ancestors and that you're divinely protected with this powerful protection. And that's why they, everything they've been trying to do to you. So, okay. So whoever you are, there's like this very powerful warlock and witch that have been teamed up, um, to silence you. I don't know why I heard Jekyll and Hyde. I don't even know what that is. You guys can let me know what the heck is Jekyll and Hyde. See, I just heard that randomly. But somebody is embodying a dark entity. Somebody's embodying some sort of jinn spirit. And what, they're, what they do most is siphon energy from you. So you can feel sick, ill, lightheaded, or just like get a really bad headache. Get a really bad pain in the back of your head, in the back of your, um, right here, in like the, the stem of your brain. And on the top of your head, you can start getting really bad pains and headaches after talking to this person or, deal, or being around them. Your ancestors chose you to basically expose everything that was done to them and stolen from them, their land and their fortune. So you're here to set the record straight. That's why uh, this secret society and... This association that you guys have been dealing with, organizations of witches and warlocks and practitioners, these elites, they are, like I said before, they're so worried about you. They're so worried about you and what you're ex going to expose or what you've been exposing or they're worried about you because you're breaking some sort of generational curse. It's like a, a, a web, something about webs. You could be seeing spiders. Webs could be significant and spiders. It's like a whole web of lies or a whole web of, of, of illusions. And it's like they're unraveling so you can see the truth now. So you can understand why it's so important for you to 
astral projects, for you to get the messages from your ancestors, for you to transmute energies. That's why it's so important. And for you to set boundaries with people. And then I heard Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Somebody left you with a broken heart. And now you're stronger and wiser and more confident, but it took you some time to heal. But when this person left you, you were crying or you were devastated. And I heard, unbreak my heart, say you love me again. Undo this hurt you caused when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. So yeah, so somebody really broke your heart. They walked out of your life. They chose karmic over you. They left you for dead, they left you uh, broke, or they left you and they ruined your reputation and they, you know, they left you stuck outside in the cold. This person didn't think none of it. They walked away as if they had no, no they were not going to have any any consequences for, for their actions, as if they were going to have a beautiful and abundant life with a karmic after they left you in pieces, torn apart, and for no good reason. This person was plotting... When they were with you, this person was cheating with this karmic when they were with you. This person was using you for whatever you can give to them. And they were always planning their escape with this karmic. Okay, now this person and this karmic, they're in the quicksand. Okay, they're reaping what they've sown. Okay, they, if they had a relationship that was based on materialistic things like money, cars, houses, things like that. And that's the only thing that they had between them to actually make them seem like a power couple. But inside the home, there was no real love. There was no genuine energy. This person was low-key spying on you behind the scenes when this karmic wasn't around. This karmic was low-key spying on her ex or his ex when this person was... Now, these two people got together, but there was no real love there. All right? They did it only to hurt you or for convenience. They thought it was going to be a good idea. But now whoever this ex is is stuck somewhere. This person could be drinking a lot. They could be in a bar. This person could be at their friend's house. This person is avoiding going home to the karmic. They're miserable. So all they do is spy on you and your social media when, when they're at their friend's house or when they're not there, when they're somewhere at their bar or at work. This person is like trying to figure out how to get out of a situation. But this person really uh, invested in this karmic the way this person never invested into you. And now they realize that this karmic is codependent, all right? This karmic is sitting there, probably not even working, depending on this other person to take care of them. Your ex has a lot of burdens and responsibilities. They're in their, they're in their head a lot. This person um, is feeling very, very uh, silly or stupid or foolish. Um, for not speaking to you any sooner, this person just let time go by and didn't reach out. And was posting this person on their social media. You know, they did the most. They hurt you more, like, over and over again. So you you had to block this person from your social media so you wouldn't see what they were posting. This is not for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This person is in despair. This person's friends are making fun of them or their family members. Somebody's, like, coming at this person like, wow, you're such a fool. You really left the Aries for this person. And um, the Aries got it going on. The Aries is, is self-made boss. The Aries is on the road to success. The Aries is looking good, smelling good. Okay, the Aries is enlightened. So this is the conversation that's going on between your ex and one of their friends or family members. They're like, come on now, just reach out to them. Just reach out to them. No, they don't want nothing to do with me. Um, I can't take it if this person rejects me because, I, you know, I just don't know what to say to the Aries. This person is pathetic because they don't know what to say to you. But you were kind to this person. You were loving to this person. You forgave them multiple times. They act like, like you're scary or something. Like it's scary for them to come in. I think this person just can't handle you asking them questions. Like why, when, and where. Like where did you meet her? When did you start dating her? Why did you do this to me? Whatever questions you have for this person, this person is not ready to answer these questions. So they're being a coward. They're hiding behind a false mask. They're avoiding this karmic. And all they can do is spy on you, whoever you are. Wow. Okay, so I got some names and I'm going to go through these names really quickly so then I can get on with it and pull some more cards on this ex of yours, okay? And this karmic, they're both delusional. So Margaret Hamilton... That's one of the names I heard from Spirit, and guess who she was in the movie? Margaret Hamilton was the actress in The Wizard of Oz. Wow. Okay, so you're dealing with the Wicked Witch of the East and the West and the North and the South. 
So you guys are dealing with this wicked witch. And Margaret Hamilton played the wicked witch in The Wizard of Oz. She actually played Mrs. Gulich, which was the lady that took Toto away from Dorothy, the mean neighbor lady that used to ride her bike with the basket. So she played that lady and she played the witch in The Wizard of Oz. Okay. And she was born December 9th, 19, 1902. She was born in Cleveland, Ohio. So somebody could be born on the 9th of the month. Somebody could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Okay. Because she was a Sagittarius, I, I believe. And um, born in Cleveland. So somebody could be from Cleveland, or Ohio is significant. I also channeled the name Denise Hawthorne. And when I searched up Denise Hawthorne, she was an actress. Um, and she started in the movie, The Believers, okay? So you guys are like, a, there's like a group of non-believers and you guys transforming these people into believers. And this is like something that's unheard of because like a group of people that were non-believers into spirituality or into your spiritual abilities, or they were non-believers because they never believed in you. Now that now you're making these people turn into believers because now they see the fruits of your labor and, and, and the results of all your hard work and effort and, and you taking back your power. Okay, so I heard Denise Hawthorne. She was born in 1987, and that's the only thing I can find on her online. So um, somebody could be born in 1987, the year 87 here for someone. Somebody could be named Denise. Somebody's name could be Denise or last name Hawthorne. Then I heard Magic Johnson, okay? So Magic Johnson's real name was Irving Johnson. Somebody's name could be Irv, Irving, Ivan, Edwin. Somebody's last name could, could be Johnson. Somebody was using heavy magic on you guys. Magic Johnson. I'm not surprised. Like Magic Johnson. And then I get Margaret. Okay. Somebody's name could be Margaret. Wow. Okay. So Mar M Mike Magic Johnson, Irvin Johnson, 64, 65 years old could be significant. He is a Leo. You guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius, heavy fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um... Water sign energy and Virgo energy is here. Jason Hicks. I got Jason Hicks. Somebody could be born 1991. Cookie Johnson was Magic Johnson's wife, so someone's name could be Cookie. Okay, somebody could be baking cookies. Jason Hicks. If somebody bakes cookies and brings them to you, don't eat the cookies. Don't eat the cookies. Don't eat the sweet treats somebody's going to bring you. Don't eat it. You might get sick. Hmm. Jason Hicks, okay, I picked up on this name. Somebody's name could be Jason. Somebody's last name could be Hicks. Jason Hicks was an attorney of uh, attorney for civil rights lawyer. So your civil rights could have been violated. You could, these individual uh, secret societies, the watchers in your community, these cricket authority figures, they could have really violated your civil rights. Somebody here has a civil rights lawsuit. All right, they could have been racist. All right, Violate, violated your civil rights, and they're going down, okay? So somebody's name could be Jason, like I said. The last name I heard was Esther Milford, lives in Haiti. That's the only thing I found of, of this person's name, because Spirit's giving me random names. Some of these people are regular people, and I'm just look, looking them up for whatever information that can resonate with you guys. Somebody's name could be Esther Milford. Is some could be somebody's first or last, Milford. And somebody you're dealing with could live in Haiti. Somebody created a... Uh, a Haitian voodoo doll of you? Oh my gosh. What is going on? You guys are receiving justice in court. All right, you're on the right path. Somebody has a baby girl. Be careful where you're leaving your baby girl at for somebody watching. You can't trust your babysitter. This person is siphoning your daughter's energy. What the heck? Spiritual bath. Take a spiritual bath. <clears throat> Doing meditations. Remain calm and meditate. Meditate. Somebody's thinking about making love to you. Because they're, this karmic is obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. Somebody's an undercover lover, bisexual, secrets coming out to light. You're the best I ever had. Aries, somebody could be attacking you. There could be a warlock that's attacking you. That's an undercover lover, bisexual. You could have exposed this person's secret. And this person now is attacking you with spell work. So many times this person did spell work on you. And you are not affected. And this person knows that you are not from this planet. You're not just human. All right, you are like a demigod. All right, you're a demigod. So you're like a demigod. You you embody so much power and light and energy. You're you're like I said, you're from a whole nother dimension. You could be like a time traveler, but you just don't really know that yet. But you could have traveled through time, so that's why you know so many things. 
Here, audience gifts. Somebody's love spells is backfiring on them. It was a setup. Somebody's trying to set you up or something that happened over the weekend was a setup or something that's happening over the week. All right, so be mindful. Don't let somebody bait you into an argument, altercation. That was a setup. Somebody wants to make you look bad. Somebody wants to catch you losing it, your cool on camera so they can make a false report on you and get some sort of restraining order on you or get you evicted out of your home or I don't know what they're trying to do, get you fired. It is a setup because it came back out. You're gaining knowledge with a DNA activation. Somebody's getting pregnant. Congratulations, news of a baby. Somebody thought they couldn't get pregnant, but God removed the blockage and somebody's about to find this out. You're gonna somebody's gonna be very, very, very excited and even shocked when they find out they're pregnant. Protect your energy. Somebody slept with your friend and this uh, is coming out to the light. Someone knows that you are their soulmate and they're approaching you. Somebody was planning to break into somebody's home or property or business and rob them, but this was set by your family. So if somebody's house or car or in the past was broken into and you were robbed, that was family members that sent that to, to happen to you? Mm. <clears throat> My family don't like you, so your ex's family don't like you. Your ex's family don't like you because of all the lies this ex told on you to their family. Now this ex's family is starting to see this ex lied. It was not never true that this karmic is um, nothing compared to you. That this karmic is a witch and this karmic is a one. And that, that, that was basically... Um, This karmic was the one that was basically going to take your ex down the dark path and ruin their life. And this ex told their family so many lies about you. Their family believed that you were the one that was going to put this ex on a dark path, that you were the burden, that you were the problem. Now somebody in this person's family is going to reach out to you, begging you. Like I said in yesterday's video reading, somebody's having a spiritual awakening because of you. All right? Love at first sight. Somebody's falling in love with you. My beautiful loves, love at first sight, okay? And a lot of you guys complimenting my hair. Thank you for that. All I use on my hair is crown chakra protection spray. I literally just wash my hair. I spray my crown chakra on my hair. I don't put no hairspray or gel or anything in my hair, and it just stays like this. And my hair has been growing so rapidly since I've been using it, and I've been having less headaches because I get a lot of headaches, and a lot of psychic attacks are being sent towards me, towards you guys. You know, because, you know, they're mad because you know the truth. This is life-changing, whatever's happening. Whatever's happening right now with a lot of people being victimized or targeted because they voted for Trump. Like, uh, um, I saw on the news that certain people are being... So, uh, so this is happening to, like, black women, black men, and younger uh, college students are receiving some sort of weird text message in their phone some racist text messages right after Trump was elected, that is not a coincidence. Those are some evil hackers, okay, and scammers that um, wanted Kamala to be president for some reason, and they're upset. And so now they're targeting black people and the minorities because basically we voted, a lot of us voted for Trump. I didn't vote. I didn't vote for anyone, just so you know. But a lot of people did. A lot of minorities did vote for Trump, and now they're targeting people by sending them this really messed up text message about being a slave, going to the cotton field, picking cotton, that could be significant. Your ancestors are showing up here in this video reading. Like I said, your ancestors could have went through the slavery uh, slavery days or slave days relocating, and that's why you're a fearless warrior, and that's why they're fearless warriors, all right? Very resilient. The angels are helping you. God be with this country, and I'm going to continue to pray for our president to strengthen him, all right, to lead him so that he makes the best decisions for all of us right now because this is a very sensitive time for our for our planet and for for the world in general. Like all the uh, all this price these price gouging, there's like price gouging. It's like hard to find good jobs. It's like um robots are taking over our jobs, Elon Musk creating these robots. There's so much going on. And I feel like this was all predicted. This was all put in movies. They told us the truth in plain sight. They tell us the truth in these movies. These actors know what they're doing. Okay? We already know from Will Smith's movie that these robots were coming out. They put the truth in plain sight. They want you to think it's just a movie. But this is what they're really doing behind the scenes. So you guys have to make investments. Make investments. All right? Stock up on goods. 
All right, stock up on um, first aid kits, stock up on anything that you need to stock up on just in case of anything happens and the world goes left. Just be prepared. Don't be scared. Be prepared, right? Because the angel of love always surrounds you guys. The angel of love is surrounding you guys. And you got a very beautiful opportunity coming in. All right, whoever you are, you're getting a new home or apartment. Congratulations. All right, God is going to make sure you're somewhere where you're comfortable. He is relocating you for a reason. All right, and somebody's son is being manipulated, or somebody's son has a dark energy attached, and somebody's son could be waking up um, in night sweats or having bad dreams. Put some black salt underneath your child's bed, black salt, or a cup of a uh, glass of salt water, dream catcher, or a, a white candle for protection. Somebody's son is waking up having bad dreams or being targeted by some sort of spirits. Hmm, son is very gifted. This could be like a younger son. Black car, black truck, or SUV could be significant. Social media stalkers. Sister lied on paper about you. Unsolved mystery. Somebody's death or saw is being solved. It was a murder. Green eyes. They've been spying on you because you're like leading him. Like you're, I, I feel like you're solving a case here and you don't even know. You're giving information, but you don't know you're getting information. You could be sharing this. Somebody lied on paper. They're exposed. Overseas practitioner passing away. Losing everything. Everyone's scared now. The the most powerful practitioner in Haiti or in Jamaica or in Africa that they hired and they paid overseas. Mm -mm, going down. Losing everything. Losing their mind, actually. They're all scared. Formal magic backfires. This is your reading. Till the next time. Namaste.